So how well do you really understand Jesus, Paul, and the Gospels? Let's take a little test to find out. Spurious familiarity is a big problem. It causes us to misunderstand what the scriptures are actually telling us. So in order to shake things up, I thought that maybe we could try out a little survey of questions. This quiz should be both fun and challenging to Christians and non-Christians alike. Let's have a go. Question 1. Resurrection and Religious Truth When 21st century Western people, whether they're Christian or not, hear about the gospel or good news concerning God, or Jesus Christ being raised from the dead, or about the kingdom of God, we tend to think this sounds religious. But when first century Israelites heard this, they thought it was A. Religious also B. Political C. Personal, concerning your own personal salvation D. Jewish Question 2 is about ancient Israelite understanding of the risen Jesus. When first century Israelites heard that God raised Jesus from the dead, this indicated to them that A. Jesus had conquered the grave to save all humankind. B. That the scriptures had predicted Jesus would do this long ago. C. That the God of Israel was about to initiate radical political regime change in a theocracy for Israelites. D. That the disciples were hallucinating. Question 3 is about Paul's Gospel. The Gospel of God, or Good News, spread by Paul was originally meant for A. All humankind B. The poor C. People who recognize Jesus as their personal Savior and Lord D. Israelites alone Question 4 is about Jesus and Paul as Mena personalities. First century Mena, or Middle Eastern North African individuals, like Paul and Jesus, were collectivistic personalities. A collectivistic personality is one who needs A. Nobody to tell them anything B. Other persons to tell them who he or she is C. Life to be simplified D. More time to think inwardly Question 5 involves Jesus and individualism you know, nowadays, American individualism seems totally strange and esoteric, incomprehensible, and even vicious to observers from collectivistic societies, making up 80% of the world's present societies. If Jesus, Paul, or anyone from the first century New Testament world were to get into a time machine and observe 21st century United States society, they would find Americans a. Strange, incomprehensible, and uncivilized in many respects. B. Same as people everywhere, sinners in need of a savior. C. People who enjoy freedom. D. Members of a nation built on Christian values. Question 6 involves Jesus and the dyadic self. Jesus, Paul, and other New Testament figures all had what anthropologists call a dyadic self. That means that each of them A. Constantly required another to know who he was. B. Was a group self that internalized group perspectives to the extent that he could respond automatically according to the specifications of in-group norms without doing any sort of utilitarian calculation. C. Had unquestioned attachment to the in-group with distrust of outsiders. D. All of the above. Question 7 involves New Testament time. Thanks to Denny the Dwarf, Christians today enjoy using the terms B.C. and A.D. to date things. The way we Western people relate what really happened partly involves the attempt to chronicle by exact dating. This is our first step in history writing as 21st century Westerners. 
It derives from post-enlightenment norms for drawing up historical narratives. So, we use linear calendric determinations in order to properly sequence events. In what year, or month, or on what day did something happen in the past? In stark contrast, for first century New Testament people, the main way of dating was a. To proceed from Jesus' birthday, December 25th, the year zero. b. To count from Easter Sunday. c. In terms of and in relation to significant persons. d. Get the dates from Mary. These seven questions are all we get for today. So how do you think you did?